Everyone knows that Vero violation is the most dangerous thing for any eBay account, for any dropshipper, and that this is actually something that can close your store and business completely. But if we understand how the biggest brands in the world find that you are selling their products and then they report your account to eBay as account who is selling Vero products, we can actually try to solve that and decrease the chance to get Vero violation by a lot of percent. And this why what I will explain in this video. I will reveal something that nobody talked about before. So before we get started, what is Vero violation? Vero violation is when someone goes to eBay, reports your account as someone who sells their products without their permission, and then your account will be suspended, first for 3 days, then for 7, 14, 30, and then it can be suspended even forever. So what should we do? First of all, eBay has this list of all of the Vero brands. So for sure we will not go and start selling these products. Also, AutoDS covers you and has the biggest Vero protection that I already talked in some other videos that will be attached below this video. But how to still decrease the chance that you will get a Vero, a Vero that doesn't exist in AutoDS lists, even if it's thousands of brands, or on eBay's list, which is this small amount of brands. So there is something that nobody knows, or at least I don't know any dropshipper who already talked about it, at least on YouTube for free. And this is how the brands actually find you and then sue you and report you to eBay. So there is one or multiple magic companies that help the world a lot and help people actually to make money from this that they sue other people who sell their products or use their images without their permission. And one of these sites called, for example, CopyTrack. CopyTrack is a site that you can upload here an image or multiple uh, images and they will scan the network, all of the other sites, same as Google does, and find who other used the exact same image in their product, in their site, or whenever, um, without your permission. So I just did small test. I added six images, random images from Amazon, from some random products, and then these are the results. So actually I could make five, oh, 450,000 euro if I would uh, sue these people. So that's what this site says. So how it works? If I go to this site and I click import, I can add here uh, images. Then they will scan all of the network and show me the results under the all section here. So this is for example a product and they show that they found the same image here. Again and again and again. And you can see here that they found the same image in multiple different products. By the way, even if the color is a bit different or something like that, it, it, it can still show here that the product exists. So what can we do to decrease the chance for that to happen? Now, we cannot really avoid it for 100%. What we can do is to try to decrease it as much as possible. Because even though that here it recognized the collage, it doesn't always work. I tried multiple products and I saw that sometimes it recognized collages and sometimes it doesn't. So the first method that you can do to find uh, products to actually to hide your products from being scanned on these sites is to go to AutoDS, put the link to the product that you want to upload, it will grab all of the details, and then, as you know, for bulk uploads and regular uploads, we have in AutoDS the feature that allows you to create a collage with the click of a button. Now, as you saw before, the collage doesn't always work, but again, it will decrease the chances, and I will show you some other methods in one moment. So, um, if I scroll down, if I click on any of these images, so if I do like that, 
uh, eBay would, uh, sorry, these sites would find that this image was copied. But if I create a collage like this and I put it as a, the main image, it will decrease the chance for these sites to find that this picture was copied. Another thing that I can do to decrease the chance even more is to click set watermark and then um, and then it will put the watermark that I have on our settings page on this specific image. We can see it here, if I do zoom, I will see the watermark here. So now the chance to find this first image is much lower. Now I know that it doesn't look good in this example and I know that you cannot always do this collage and you also still have other images on the same listing. But this is just an example and I just want you to understand how this process works. Something else that you can do is uh, to go to a site like canva.com canva and here you can also create a design to your image. It means that you can just upload your pictures here, change uh, their sizes, change their colors, play with it a little bit and then re-upload it. Another thing, in AutoDS, we're automatically changing some of pixels of the image for you automatically to decrease the chance for you to be discovered. So to help you to avoid Vero, we do some things. And the first one is that you can find Vero, Vero products even after they were uploaded under your active listings page. Second one, we scan all of the images of uh, all of the messages of all of our customers, and if someone got a Vero violation, we will add it also to the lists of the other people. We help you here with the watermarks, and we also change some pixels of the images uh, for you automatically. Now, I wouldn't do that all this process because it's a lot of hard work for all of your products. But if you have a product that works well for you and sells really a lot and you don't want to get a um, zero violation for it or to get sued for that because you're uh, selling too much and you're afraid that this product will disappear from your store because of this small mistake, what you can do is really to spend some time, go to, can to canva.com, change the, the picture a bit and then these sites will not discover you. So I hope that this video helps you. I hope that it will open your mind a little bit and explain you how this process works. And for me, that's all. I go now to, to make 450,000 uh, euros if I go and sue some other people. And I hope that this video helps you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, share it with other people so they will also stay on the safe side. Comment below this video for any question that you have and I promise to go and respond to any of your messages and any of your questions personally so you will get the best answers for any of your dropshipping questions. See you on the next videos. Bye-bye.